everyone, it's Kieran, and in today's episode, we're going to be dealing with some of my scrap wood hoard. First up, it's making some apothecary drawers. They are super handy for storage and they always sell really well. So, I'll show you how I make them. So I've got this old piece of scrap wood and I'm just going to cut it down into four equal parts on the chop saw and uh, build a little wooden box with some brad nails. In the quiet of my workshop I feel so at ease With my hands and my tools I create with such ease Sculpting the wood, it's like second nature to me The grains and the texture, so much beauty to see Woodworking magic in my hands and I'm full Carving and shaping, my heart feels so whole And it's as simple as that, in just a few minutes we have made our own little wooden storage box Of course, you don't have to make them, you could equally just thrift something and use that as well So whenever I make these, I like to add a little bit of texture onto the front with some ferny paint texture medium and mixing it just with a bit of antique white paint. Yes, we can hear you. Hello. Hello, we can hear you. Calm down. So I just need literally a blob of antique white. And then the texture medium. and then mix that up. This is now ready to be applied on, so I'm just gonna spread it over and then pounce it over the top to give it some peaks and some texture. Crafting is my escape, hold an endless possibility. Where colors swirl and shapes dance, setting my soul free. With every stitch and every line, I feel the magic rise. In a world of my creation where my spirit truly flies. And whilst that's drying, I'm going to be careful and I'm going to paint the inside with black night ferny paint and on the outside as well. Let your creativity soar like a bird in the sky. Let your dreams take flight, reach for the highest high. Every stroke, every hue, a masterpiece in your eye. Crafting your own story, let your spirit never die. So the texture's dried really nicely and I'm just going to go over the front with this old green paint that I've got, just some that's been languishing around in the back of the garage and I'm trying to get used up. Take time. In the tapestry of dreams, where hopes and visions blend, weaving tales of wonder on a journey with no end. From paints and papers to wood and clay, I mold my dreams anew in the symphony of creation. Just going to leave that to dry and then I'll head outside and I will give it as light distress with the orbital sander. Let your creativity soar like a bird in the sky. Let your dreams take flight, reach for the highest high. Every stroke, every hue, a masterpiece in your eye. Crafting your own story, let your spirit never die. Next up, we need to go through my hoard of drawers to find a suitable handle for this project. That is what is in this cupboard behind me whenever I do my live videos. All my old handles and craft supplies, I never throw them out because you never know when you might need them. Just before I add on that handle, I'm going to give this piece a glaze finish just to add a little bit of dirt and age onto it. You can make your own glaze by mixing a little bit of acrylic paint or good quality paint with um, sealer and that will make a really good glaze. Let your creativity soar like a bird in the sky. Let your dreams take flight, reach for the highest high. Every stroke, every hue, a masterpiece in your eye. Crafting your own story, let your spirit never die. Ooh. 
all that's left to do is to add on a label to this piece and it's finished up. And then next to no time, we've managed to take a piece of scrap board and turn it into something that's useful for home decor or to resell. Let me know down in the comments box what you think about this project and what you would use them to store. Upcycling, recycling, a revolution in the making. It's Kira's upcycling journey, a show that's meant to inspire. Every old PC transforms, sets up. Love those little boxes. I think they are great for plants, for storage, and all sorts of things. I've got them all over the house. But our next project is great for our four legged friends. So I was inspired by a trip to Home Sense when I saw these dog um, bowl holders and I thought they were quite expensive and could easily be made from scrap wood. So let's try and give it a go. I've picked up two stainless steel bowls from the equivalent of the dollar shop and I am just, I found this old piece of scrap board, I'm going to draw around them. They've got a bit of a rim so that they can sit on top of the wood. So I'm going to draw slightly inside um, the rim and then cut that out with a jigsaw and then that will hopefully allow my bowls to sit nice and flush. Living my best life, feeling so Whilst I figure out what the next move is, I'm just taking a rest in one of my little eBay finds. I bought this shirt for 99p and it needs some love and care. So if you fancy seeing how it turns out like, make sure to hit up that subscribe button. Next up, I just need to add a couple of legs and maybe a brace support in the front and possibly the back as well. For this to fit in with my kitchen, I'm going to give it a quick coat of white paint. Easily white. I'm going to give it a distressing with the orbital sander before I seal it with some hemp oil. I've really used hemp oil a lot, but it gives a really nice soft sheen. All that's left now is to see what the dogs think of it. But as you'll see, I might have made a little bit of a mistake. It's Kira's upcycling journey, a show that's meant to inspire. Every old PC transform sets our lives on fire. As you can see, I made it far too tall. Duh. I didn't even think. My poor little dogs were wondering. How am I going to get to that food? So at some point I need to cut those legs down so it's a bit more suitable for their height. So maybe check before you go through all the effort of finishing it so you get your measurements correct. Let me know what you think about this scrap wood project down in the comments box below. Even though the execution wasn't quite 100%, I still think it's a great way of using up some old scrap wood and possibly making something for yourself or a gift or to resell. My next scrap wood project is perfect for adding an extra embellishment onto a gift. It's making a scrap wood gift box. So I found this old piece of scrap pallet wood and I'm just going to cut a top and a bottom that are the same size and four sides and attach them together with the brad nailer. Mm -hmm. 
this is looking pretty box like to me all that's left is to head inside and give it a bit of decoration and pair it with a fantastic homemade gift idea I'm going to make sure that everyone knows that this is a handmade item by stamping it with this handmade stamp that I found years ago but you can decorate yours however you like maybe a bit of decoupage or something like that all that's left is to make my favourite handmade gift, which is a candy infused spirit mix. So I take whatever the person's favourite sweets are, smash them up, it works best if it's a hard boiled sweet, and then mix it with an alcohol such as gin or vodka, put it in a nice decorative bottle, and after a while, that bottle will infuse with their favourite sweet and it's such a fun little conversation piece and a fantastic handmade gift. Gift. She's turning the ordinary into something divine. One man's trash is another man's treasure. It's and that's my three scrap wood projects. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Let me know which project was your favourite and if you'd be tempted to make any of them. And I'll leave you with a few more unique videos from me somewhere around here. <laughs>